in 1861 a civil war broke in united states of america there were 11 states on the south who formed confederate states of america and they were in support of slavery they wanted the states to support slavery the remaining states of north were with the union and they were against slavery that time abraham lincoln was the president of america the war was very brutal there was tremendous enmity between north and south of america almost a million people were killed in that war which lasted for almost 4 years at the peak of civil war once abraham lincoln delivered a very passionate speech in which he referred the southern american people as fellow human beings who are on error now an lady was infuriated and she confronted abraham lincoln she said that you should have referred them as irreconcilable enemies who must be destroyed abraham lincoln said politely madam when i make my enemies as friend do i not destroy them this was the greatness of abraham lincoln he did not believe in destroying the enemy but he rather believed on destroying the enmities and making his enemy as his friend if we make the enemy as our friend we destroyed the enemies by love and not by hatred because once there is no enmity then there is no enemy while it is true that sometime a fight has to be there like abraham lincoln too fought a war but that was not for his personal satisfaction but for upholding a principle and that was that there should be no slavery and after he became victorious then slavery was abolished and human rights were established friends it's important to understand that hatred cannot be destroyed by hatred enmity cannot be destroyed by enmities if we want to win our enemies we must learn to win them by friendship if you have hatred in your heart against all the people who are your opponent then it is going to destroy you instead of that we can consider our opponents as rivals just like when we are playing a game of cricket or we are playing a game of tennis then another opponent or our rival is needed if you want to play a good game imagine that we have no person on the other side how can we play game we need opponents and it is through opponents that we become stronger if you have no opponent you have no ability to prove your brilliance and to establish yourself so when you face opponents in your life you fight them you try to defeat them you try to win but not with the hatred but rather to establish yourself as a superior person or to uphold a principle that is what is most important in life so let us learn to destroy enmity hatred by love and friendship and this will go a long way in creating a better world and a better self